This segment is brought to you in part by the Oregon Liquor Control Commission and Crown Royal. If you're planning a holiday celebration and want to be a responsible host, then you need to stay tuned to what our next guest has to say. Here with tips on how to throw a successful and safe party is Rudy Williams, the Director of Enforcement and Public Safety for the OLCC. Thank you for being here. Good to see you as always. Well, good to see you as always, too. <laughs> yes. Good time of year to talk about this, of course, because a lot of parties are going on and it is important to be safe. It is. And I'd like to start off by saying that one of the first things you want to do to make sure that your party is very successful is have a designated driver. Mm -hmm. Having a designated driver will allow and ensure that there are individuals who can get home if they need an escort service. And it's important for the designated driver to know something important too, and the host. Yes, it is. Uh, Oregon is big on social hosting laws, and so if you are an individual who's a designated driver or the host, you want to make sure that that doesn't mean that people can drink to failure, even though you have a designated driver. Okay, important to know. Now, you brought some props with you this I did. time around. I see you have something here in the Red Bull. What is this? Well, this is the keys. We have found out from experience that one of the things that you can do as a host is to get the keys from your guests okay. and then return them towards the end of the evening. It will give you an opportunity as the host to actually check the sobriety of your folks before they actually get an into an automobile and then drive home. This makes the host in charge Absolutely. of who's going home. Okay, I like this dish here. <laughs> are, are you serving this at your party? <laughs> well, not quite, not quite. Okay. What we're suggesting is that one of the things that you can do is ask people to either uh, set, set aside some money for cabs or you can put some money into this yourself so that folks can take a cab home. Uh, we understand that oftentimes uh, folks will spend a lot of money for the parties so it's a good way to have a little money set aside and even ask your guests if they would be willing to contribute a couple of dollars for I a like cab. That. And then the host gets what's left over? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I won't go there. Okay, all right. <laughs> what do we have here? Is this an invitation? This is an invitation okay. and we are suggesting that one of the things that you can do is on your invitation, you might want to put the cab number mm. uh, that uh, an individual can call if in fact they need to get home. We're also suggesting too on the cell phone here that uh -huh. you ask ask people to put the uh, cab or program that into their cell phone. Good idea. And then they have the money to do that. They have the money to do that. So you can have the money plus you have the opportunity to send that out on an invitation to let them know uh, here's the phone number for a cab as well as having it actually programmed within your cell phone. Okay. Now, not all parties have to be all alcoholic parties, do it, they? All parties do not. In fact, what we're suggesting is that you offer up non-alcoholic beverages. It's a way to monitor and slow down the consumption of alcohol. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, this is a good way. It takes a good hour or so for the alcohol to subside a little bit, but by having by but by having non-alcoholic drinks, it's a good way to monitor and stretch your party out. Because mm -hmm. really, you want to be together and enjoying each other. Don't worry about the drinks. You do. You do. <laughs> and you have some snacks down here. This looks good. Yes, uh, we know for a fact that food slows down the absorption of alcohol into the bloodstream. So having food, having plenty of foods and encouraging folks to have food with their drinks is a good way to stay sober and have a good time. All right, Rudy, thank you so much. Always some good information. And for more information and tips on celebrating safely this holiday season, go to their website, oregon.guv slash OLCC. Thank you. Thank you.